Toner has had success with redesigning harmonicas in the past. They redesigned the Special 20 and made the Rocket, which is a great yeah, harmonica. They redesigned the Marine Band 1896 and made the Crossover, which is also a killer harmonica. But here's the problem. The Golden Melody, which I always loved and rated at a 4.8 out of 5 stars, is not only being replaced by the new Golden Melody, but it's being discontinued and the new one is here to stay. Spoiler alert, it's not quite the slam dunk I had hoped compared to the original, and I'll explain why in this review. <laughs> February 23rd, 2023, Honer released their redesigned Golden Melody. If you're in the market for one right now and you're not sure which one you're buying, the new model number is M544BX and the old one was 542PBX. Let's open this bad boy up. For some reason, they've decided to go with this sturdy cardboard box instead of the plastic box that it used to ship with. I'm not sure why they didn't go with one of the nylon zipper cases, especially since it costs $60 now instead of $50. Not a big deal if you're a player like me who has a case already, but for someone who may own only a couple harmonicas, this is a minor bummer. Comfort. I gave the old Golden Melody a 5 out of 5 stars for comfort, and I give the new Golden Melody a 5 out of 5 stars for comfort too. The plastic comb is comfortable in the mouth, no sharp corners, it's got an ergonomic design, it's perfect for players who have small hands. Some people seem to be complaining about this divot, I'm not really sure why, it doesn't affect my playing at all, so for comfort I give it a 5 out of 5 stars. Looks. I always thought the Golden Melody was a really cool looking harmonica, kind of a retro look with its trapezoid shape, and I think the new Golden Melody looks even better, so I'm increasing its score to a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The only reason I docked the old one a star is just for lack of a good readable key label, and I gotta say that's something they've improved. They've given me half of what I wanted. They have a key label right here on the side of the harmonica. It's white so I can read it in a dark club. That's great. Now I think they should just go a step further and have the second position key label on the other side, just like Leo. Oscar. I think all harmonica manufacturers should adopt that practice, make life easier for beginners. Responsiveness. The old one was perfectly responsive. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. 0 to 60 real quick. I find the new Golden Melody to be slightly less responsive for my playing style. Again, this is a minor difference, but I just feel like when I play the notes on the old one, I just got it right away. And here, sometimes I just feel ever so slightly a little bit of a lag. Of course, this would be something if you're prone to open up harmonicas and fine tune them that you could probably easily adjust, but straight out of the box, it's not quite as responsive as the old Golden Melody. And that's why I got a dock at half a star and put it at 4.5 out of five stars for responsiveness. Bendability. The old Golden Melody, I gave a 5 out of 5 stars for bendability. The Golden Melody wasn't super bendable. We know that it wouldn't be Howard Levy's preferred harmonica. Let's check out the new one. It is slightly less bendable than the old one. Controlling the draw three half step bends and then also up on the high blow bends, it's just not quite as easy to control those bends. This is still a great harmonica to learn bending or to perfect bending on, and I'm giving it four and a half out of five stars. I just want to dock it a half star to just note that, again, for my playing style, I find it to be slightly harder to control the bends than I did on the older version. Very slight difference, but there is a difference. Tone. The tone of the old golden melody, you know, it's ideal for single notes, right? It's tuned to the equal temperament tuning scale, so it's really tuned for single notes over chordal style playing. And the tone is a bit darker. It's always been a darker tone compared to the Marine Band. With the redesign, as you can see here, the new one has slightly larger back. And so I think the projection is a bit louder the way that they've designed this. I'll be interested to hear this video back, but at least from the player's perspective right now, I was surprised at the difference in tone. I found the new one to be a bit more honky in the mid range versus the old one had a little bit more of a breathy, a little bit more of a woody tone. Tone of course is very subjective and so what I'm gonna do is play these side by side and you can make up your own mind. Old. New. Old. New. 
while I'm doing this, I'm finding that I'm playing licks on the old one and then trying to play it on the new one and having trouble. So I definitely am confirming for myself my ratings of docking it a half star, both for responsiveness and bendability. So looking at all the categories, the old Golden Melody, I gave a 4.8 out of 5 stars. The new Golden Melody, I gave a 4.6 out of 5 stars. Is there a difference? Yes, but it's a very small difference. Now in terms of durability and fixability, they're probably about comparable. They both have plastic combs, so they're not prone to swelling or splintering over time. But the old Golden Melody had flat head screws on the top and bottom cover plates. And the new Golden Melody has an innovative design with the screws on the side of the comb, and it's a torque shape head. Now it's kind of funny because I'm hearing people complain about, oh, they changed the screw head shape and I'm like man things evolve things get better over time we figure out better ways of doing things but if you want to open it up you will need to buy a new tool and that will set you back six bucks I've got a link to the new tool below the video because the Lee Oscar is also tuned to the equal temperament and it sells for $47 I'm gonna go ahead and do some side-by-side -side playing references for you Lee Oscar Golden Melody Lee Oscar Golden Melody. Lee Oscar. Golden Melody. But wait, there's a problem. If you're a beginner and you don't know how to play single notes, then you can't enjoy either of these two harmonicas. Check out my video on single notes right here. 